Hey guys, this is Mohammad Amin from TechisNet. Today I am going to show you how to install PrestaShop in localhost using XAM. We have written a complete article on this. You can visit our blog cyberfreewishes or techisnet.com and view our complete article. As it is our recent article, it is on the first page. You will find it somewhere here. You can see that how to install PrestaShop in local host using XM. You can find this article later by clicking on the link I have posted on the screen. Now first you need to have XM and PrestaShop files. Now I will make you clear what is XM. XM is one of the most popular Apache plus MySQL plus PHP installable web development package. XM provides you a simple way to install your favorite applications like Drupal, Joomla, WordPress and many more. And PrestaShop files. PrestaShop is an open source software for developing websites and editing them easily. You can also click here and download these files. We have uh, kept the link on this. I have already downloaded them. I will now show you the steps you need to follow to install PrestaShop in localhost. You can see here I have already downloaded XAMPP and PrestaShop files. This is a zip file. I have extracted it over here. Now let's open XAMPP and install it. Yes. It will take only some time for installation. Select the following things you want like PHP, MyAdmin, MySQL, these are must files in FTP server, etc. Click on next, next. 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 Now the exam will be installed. After unpacking the files, it will install. Click on finish. After that, you can find here that exam control panel has been opened. You can click here. You can see here that now we need to start Apache and also start MySQL. Now one warning will be given that Windows Firewall has blocked some features. Click on allow access. After this, copy these both files, PrestaShop files and go to the folder where XAMPP is installed. You can find here XAMPP, open it and go to htdocs and paste the both files here. After successful copying of the files, once again go to exam control panel and beside SQL you will find that admin. Click on that admin and we here localhost we need to create a new database. Click on databases and keep give your database name whatever you like i'll give it presta shop web and click on create now the database will be created now we need to go to this link you can find in our article localhost by presta shop Now we will directly go into the PrestaShop installation. Select your language and click on next. 
mean I agree and next now fill out these details whatever you want as per your requirement choose your activity like what website you are going to build choose your country choose your time zone create your account first name last name your email keep a password for your website and click on next now the database details will be asked you can find in our article the database details as database server address localhost and database name what we have entered the created database login route and password can be empty it is already filled Thanks. the name we have created is press tosho web this way now click on next now this local server will be connected to the database Now the database tables will be created. You can see the create database tables. After the successful installation, you can easily use PrestaShop in localhost. Now the default shop and languages will be installed. Now install demonstration data is done. The modules are being installed now. This way all the necessary files will be installed. Just wait for some time and the Presta shop will be in at your hands. Now finally the theme will be installed and all the necessary installation is done now. Now it will show here that for security purposes you must delete the installed folder. Just go to your Presta shop. Here you will find the install folder deleted from here. After deleting this, again go to here and click on this link. Now you can see that you are being redirected to Presta Shop. Now here enter your email and the password, and you will be able to use the Presta Shop locally. This way you can create your websites or edit them using the Presta Shop in localhost. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.